Welcome back everybody. Driver53 here with another short video on precision farming in Farming Simulator 19. And y'all, today we are taking a look at barley. And not just barley, but what does the different nitrogen levels do to your yield of barley for the different soil types? So the test is going to be set up the same way that my wheat one was at the very beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and link that video up here at the top. So go ahead and check that one out. I'm going to give you a really brief overview here really quick. Once again, really quick, here are the different soil types that we have. We've got silty clay, loam, sandy loam, and loamy sand. And here are the different strips that I have in each one of those soil types. Now when we come back over here, we're going to take a look at our pH. Everything is the way that it should be. I have gone around this blue blob, the lake. That's what I'm going to call it now, the lake. I've gone around that. And this is our nitrogen. So as you can see, we start at 20, go all the way to 200. So it's a really big checkerboard that we have here. All the different soil types with the crop thrown in there. Every possible nitrogen level is presented in this. Well, every possible step at 20 is presented in this field right now on each soil type. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and speed up time here and I will see you guys after harvest. All right, everybody, we have the barley now harvested. All four strips completely done. I'm standing here in the lake and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the map. So once again, here are our four soil types. And what we are expecting, you know, the yields should be at 125% here, 100 here, 90 in silty clay, and in loamy sand at 80. We also know that the max nitrogen for barley in loam is 180. In sandy loam, it's 140. In silty clay, it's 120. And loamy sand, it's 120. And that's definitely going to play into our results here in a little bit. So the pH, you can see it did exactly as it should have, took a little bit out. And nitrogen, the same thing. So let's take a look at our yields. And once again, this thing is kind of a mess, but there's some good, really, really good, interesting things here that have happened. So let me, uh, let me just go through this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about loam. And that's this group, this row, right in here, from the 8 to the 9. We know that this up here is our 200, this down here is our 20. So what we want to look at first is the 125. And if we look at 125, we have 200, 180, and 160 that were all at 125. So there's no penalty for going over on your nitrogen, on this, at least, on loam, at least at 180. Next is going to be 115 and 115 is going to be your 140 and your 120. So at 110% yield you're going to have 100 kilograms a hectare. At 105 you're going to have 80 and 60. At 100% yield you're going to have 40 and at 95% yield you're going to have uh, 20 and 0. So once again, you're not being penalized greatly by not putting anything down, and you're not being penalized by, you know, over overdoing it. So that's really good news there. So we're gonna turn everything back on to 100 here because on um, sandy loam, we know that the max yield you can get is 100%. So we're gonna go ahead and start here at. 100% uh, and you can see that that is the 200, the 180, the 160, and the 140 um, strips of um, nitrogen have all been uh, given us a yield of 100. So at 95 we have the 120 and the 100. Interesting. At 90 we have 80 and 60 and at 85 percent you're going to have 40 and 20 and then at 80 percent 
you're going to have nothing. So, really, really nice. You're not being penalized, again, on this. It's really nice to see that you've got multiple strips, multiple nitrogen levels that are maxing out. You're not having a, a negative on the backside. There's no penalty for being over-fertilized. So we're going to turn everything back on to 90, and we're going to go up here to the silty clay. So at 90, we are going to have the top five uh, stripes. That's 200, 180, 160, 140, and 120. Five. Wow. That's really, really awesome for 90% yield. You could just come in here and load that thing up. So if you had like a bad harvest and you want to load this thing up um, and prep it for like the next one so you don't have to do it then, awesome. And it looks like you can even under fertilize and not be that far off either. So let's go ahead and take a look at 85. So it's going to be two more spots. That's 100 and that's 80. Now at 80%, you're going to have your 60 and your 40. And then at 75%, you're going to have your 20 and nothing. That's really cool. Yeah. So, I mean, if you came in here and put absolutely nothing in, you're only going to be 20 points lower than, or 15 points lower, sorry, 15 points lower than if you had it fully fertilized all the way up there. So, next, last, sorry, we're going to have uh, loamy sand. And on loamy sand, 80 is the most you can get. And if we click this off, you're going to see the top, oops, the top six stripes. So that's 200, 180, 160, 140, 120, and 100 are all going to be um, giving you 80% yield, the max amount that you can get there. So there's absolutely no penalty for over-fertilizing if you do on this one, which is really interesting. I was under the assumption that we would have some penalty for going over on some of these crops. I haven't seen it yet. This is the third crop now, and we still haven't seen that. So at 75%, you're going to have two more drop off here. You're going to have 80 and 60. And then at 70%, you're going to have 40 and 20. And then if you put absolutely nothing in here, it's 65. So once again, if you put absolutely no fertilizer down, you're going to get 65% instead of 80. So it's only a 15 point drop. Might be worth saving some money. So we're going to go ahead and turn everything back on here once again for you to be able to see everything stacked up against each other. But that's going to be it, everybody. If you liked the video or learned something today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be kept up to date on my latest precision farming videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you do, go ahead and hit that notification bell too because I'm putting out multiple videos a day sometimes. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.